In this session, we are going to discuss disk truss algorithm for all pair shortest path. That means a graph will be given to us. This algorithm will execute on that particular graph and it will find out the minimum path possible between any pair of nodes. Okay, so let me go to the algorithm at first. See, here we are having three one dimensional arrays. So these arrays are status, dist and next. All, they, all these arrays are one dimensional array and they are having the size which is equal to the number of nodes in the graph. That means depending upon the number of nodes in the graph, this particular array will have their dimensions. So status array can have two values or two symbols. One is your exclamation indicating considered vertex and another will be your question mark which is indicating unconsidered vertex. So considered vertex and unconsidered vertex. I have written that one in the respective comments. And this dist array will be containing the distance from the, from the source node to the current node. So from the source to the current, source means from where I am measuring the distance, from the, uh, from the node where I have started measuring the distance and the current node, the distance between them will be written in this particular dist. So that is our dist means the corresponding uh, array one dimensional. Next is denoting the from which from which node currently the distance has been measured. So the respective node address or the node number will be put there. Okay, now so for the first three lines, what is V0? V0 is the starting vertex. So this particular dextrous algorithm requires one, one arbitrary starting vertex and that will be denoted by V0 in the algorithm. So for the starting vertex status V0 is equal to exclamation means it has been considered. Dist V0 is equal to 0 means as it is the starting vertex so its distance from the measured uh, vertex is 0 obviously because it is the starting and then next V0 is equal to start indicating that it has been measured not from any other nodes. So it as it is the starting vertex so next of V0 will be asterisk symbol. For remaining vertices other than V0 so for all V is not equal to V0 status V is equal to question mark that means they will remain unconsidered. Dist V is equal to L V V0 if there is a path between between V and V0 then the path weightage will be put in the distance v. If the path does not exist, then dist of v will be containing f, uh, infinity. Okay. So next v is equal to v0. That means it is denoting that from the v0, the distances have got measured. So either the distance will become any uh, non-zero uh, integer value denoting the weightage, otherwise it will become infinity. So now we have completed this. Uh, step 1, 2, 3, 4 and this full step will be known as the initialization. Next we are going for this step number 5. Just look at, look at here. This is the opening brace. This is the closing brace. This is, this is the closing brace for this if and this is the closing brace for this for. So that means step number 6, 7, 8 are under this particular while statement. So now find V0 which is currently considered vertex and whose status V star is equal to question mark and dist of vista is smallest. So now I shall have to find out another vertex from the remaining unconsidered vertices and that vertex must be satisfying two conditions. Condition number one that should remain unconsidered that means status of vista is equal to question mark and the distance of that particular considered vertex denoted by vista will be the smallest one. If there is any tie is there because let us suppose two vertices are there unconsidered but having the same dist values in those case the tie will be broken arbitrarily. So status v is equal to exclamation now the vertex has got considered and now we are checking with the remaining question mark vertices that is if the dist of v written for that particular v the distance value is greater than distance of vistar vistar means the current considered vertex and their respective distance value plus distance between v star to v and if the sum is lesser than this that means I am getting a shorter solution that is a, so that is a distance will be uh, lesser if you go through v star. So this dist of v will be updated with this particular expression 
and next of V obviously should be marked with this V star because the distance has been measured from V star onwards. So that is why this is my step number 6, 7, 8. So this is my Dijkstra's algorithm. We have tried to uh, written, uh, try to write one flowchart against this particular algorithm. So that is my begin, initialize means step number 1, 2, 3, I told you earlier, step number 1, 2, 3 and then 4 also, also falling in the part of this initialization. Now from the 5, 6, 7, 8, we will be writing this one. So initialize means step number 1, 2, 3 as well as 4 and then if there are any question mark vertex, if the answer is no, that means all vertices have got considered and their status value has become exclamation. So go to end. Otherwise, if it is yes, then v star is the vertex with the smallest distance and obviously with the status value equal to question mark. And then, in, uh, then update that question mark uh, by replacing this uh, exclamation. So status of v star is equal to exclamation. Update this and the next tables accordingly using this particular logic for the dist and using this logic for the status. And now go on continuing until there are no status v is equal to question mark vertices. And if it is so, if there are no such vertices are available, then go for end. And that is my flowchart for Dijkstra's algorithm. So I think the conception will get more clear, more crystal clear if you explain through one example. Please watch the next video where this Dijkstra's algorithm will be applied on a given problem, on a given graph. And we shall trace line by line and that will clear up your conceptions. So next video will be in the continuation of this one. Please watch that one and thanks for watching this one.